Hey everybody, welcome to the video. So, I got a question put to me by a student of mine. Let me read it here. Uh, from Sophia. She said, hey Uncle Steph. That's what people call me, Uncle Steph. They call me, yeah, anyway. Can you please make a video about time management and how you manage your time to get things done? Do you use any apps or tools for that? Thanks. So, I came up with five bullet points, things that you might want to consider. So first of all, when you are managing your task, you want to write them out and you want to prioritize. Point number one, you want to prioritize based on what's important. So prioritize your task uh, by date due and how important they are. Um, you, so that brings me to point number two. You don't want to get bogged down in small things on your list. When you create task lists, oftentimes... You can have all these little things you want to do and they start building up over time because you never get to them because it's hard to tell sometimes how long something in particular is going to take to do. So by uh, prioritizing, you help with that and you're constantly shifting as things come up. But what will happen is you're in time, your list will grow and then you're going to have this big list and it's pretty psychological psychologically demeaning it's like oh my god look at that big list what am i going to do so what you should do in that situation is just strike off delete forget about the small things that you didn't take care of and you forgot about uh, that's where personal assistants can come in really handy they can take care of these little things for you but anyway yeah so point number one prioritize what you have to do based on date and importance point number two you want to drop small things from your list as your list builds up. Things that you haven't done in one, two, three weeks. Chances are you didn't do them because they're not really too important. You don't really need to do them. So drop them because psychologically they're a burden. All right, point number three. You want to focus on your big goals. It goes back to prioritizing. Remember when you're setting up your daily task, try to keep in mind your medium-term big goals. Make sure that the daily tasks, the things that you are doing, takes you step-by-step step slowly towards those goals, to meeting those goals and achievements. You don't want to get caught off on tangents where you're wasting your time on things that are not really that important. So keep that in mind. So always keep in mind the medium and the long-term goals with regards to your daily task because it's those daily steps that take you to where you want to go. Number four, so how do I track things? I'll use notes, but for really important things, I have a spreadsheet. I'll use a Google Sheet or Microsoft Excel. It's online, you can edit with your phone. You can set it up, prioritize, move things around, use columns, you can set task name, date, uh, date due, etc. So that's one way, is using the spreadsheets. And when you have time-sensitive task, I'll use a, um, a calendar whether it be Google Calendar or something, where you can set up reminders and then you can check out your calendar and, and you'll see, ah, oh, this is due. And you can ask your, your uh, personal assistant, your Google, uh, your Google bot or whatever series, hey, uh, what's, what's going on today? What do I have? What appointment do I have today? So you can set up tasks as appointments in your calendar and then use voice commands on your phone or something to, uh, to set them up in your calendar and they serve as a personal assistant who literally reminds you of things to do. So finally, to get better at time management, you got to get better at assessing how long it takes you to do something. So one of the things I have in my freelance course, it's really a freelance project management course, I have a, a spreadsheet template in there that teaches you how to uh, track all the things that you're going to do typically in the execution of a particular job as a freelancer, whether you're doing web development, full stack, back end, what have you. And so you want to start doing that in a meticulous way because what that will do is you'll start becoming better at judging how long it takes for you to do things. So you want to track, okay, I did, uh, I don't know, design, sketched out the, the, the views for my application. So you, 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 you track, okay, on Monday I did an hour on it, and on Tuesday I did 30 minutes, on Friday, I did, you know, that kind of thing. I spent this much time on the phone on, on Monday, and I spent this much time sending emails on Tuesday. And you do all this, and after a few cycles of this, after a few projects, what you discover is that uh, you become much better at judging how much time it takes for you to accomplish 
your typical task, which will make your ability to uh, manage your time much more effective. Anyway, those are my tips. I hope it helps. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to do some thumbnails. No, wrong way. These are thumbnail uh, shots. If you're interested in learning more from me, I have a mentoring boot camp, and this is my most comprehensive training, and it's designed for people with all levels of skills. You find people who are total beginners when it comes to code, and we have people who are actually veterans with 10, 20 years of experience. You learn everything that you need to know to become a professional developer, and we'd get you there as quickly as possible. Some people get jobs within months, some people take longer. The great thing about the program is that you can work at your own pace as you learn the web stack and Python, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP, SQL, databases, and a whole bunch more. You learn how to manage projects, even how to invest money. It's my most comprehensive training, and it's very organic in the sense that I keep building and expanding upon it based on what people want. So if you've been wanting to learn from a developer with over well over 20 years experience if you're thinking about learning how to code and you want to do it seriously take a look at my mentoring program links are below and i also have solo learn courses as well links below thanks for watching bye bye